Well, good morning everyone. So I'm just gonna have a little scratching session here today. The swell is quite up so I need to I had to find a spot to, to fish for some edibles. Um, I feel like the main targeted species is going to be a bronze bream today and then hopefully we'll catch a couple of other species in between. So I haven't had a lot of time to film lately. So when you want to go and fish there's two, two approaches um, to target a species. Number one is to wait for the conditions to, or to, to decide what you want to catch and what species do you want to target and then wait for the conditions and then go and fish in that conditions for that specific fish or secondly um, what i'm doing today is um, i want to go and fish but um, i can't decide what species i want to target so i have to look at the weather look at the sea conditions and then i decide what species is going to be most suitable for that day for that conditions we have a really nice rolling water with a short wave period so it is ideal conditions to scratch for your edible species like a bronze bream. So that's why I'm here today and going to target those species. I've got a, like a variety of baits here. Got some pink prawn, got some sand prawn, white mussels, and then some squid. So for change, I only brought one rod to fish. Usually I have like a whole um, <laughs> set of rods with me um, to target different species but I want to force myself today to fish for the smaller species and to see what fish I can catch so I'm just preparing a little bait here with a piece of pink prawn and then I'm going to add two two sand prawns onto the side and um, the bronze bream really likes it and um, the other species as well like a muscle cracker, a small cobby, bartman all sorts of things eat it you don't want your bait to be too big as those bronze bream can be they can feed really shy just a bump and a lift and yeah i need to have a quick reaction to catch them and um, then again i have to be there to catch them so there you go just a little 2-0 hook 2-0 circle i'm going to start off with a circle hook if i have problems catching them i'll go over to a j hook but there we go a little prawn combination and I'm um, targeting a variety of species of fish. So I'll leave my prawn here, hopefully the seagulls leave them alone. But anyway, let's go and try and catch you guys a fish. Oh, before I forget, guys, yo, I've been really busy with um, some exciting stuff in the Zilux space. So I'm finally working on a website and an online store. Um, that link will be down in the description it's not ready yet but it is um, in progress so you go and you can go and click on that link um, add your email into the subscription box and you will get it and you will receive an email first thing when we go live and launch the launch the online shop and when we launch the website we're going to start out with just the online shop and then it will progress into a website and i'll have some information there share some of my trips and you know, you guys can book some trips with me through that as well but that is in in process but firstly most importantly we're going to try and launch that online shop so guys go and check it out click on the link down below it's just www.zulukfishing.com and check it out and um oh lekker good things to happen hello oh, it's great that's it hello Hi. Net draai also for. Ah, okay. It's here like a slightly, it's keeping the stuart water. Yeah, right on.
On. First try. <laughs> okay, what kind? What do we have here? Ah, stuck in that rock. There we go. It's out. Okay, first try we have a Cape Stump Nose. So I'm just gonna throw it in a pool there at the back and then see what species we can accumulate. Not the biggest of fish, but we on the board and things are starting to happen. First throw. Okay, it's a similar species to the Natal stump nose, but this is the Cape stump nose. You'll see there's a slight difference in them head shape. Also has the, the yellow line or the yellow stripe on it. But um, they don't grow as big as the Natal stump nose though. They only go to like 2 kilos. So this one is about 600 grams. So we're going to chuck it in there. And we'll safely return it a little bit later. Let's get a bait. Oh yeah, black sun. Ik wil hem teruggooien, ik wil niet hij moet eerst een keer revive. Maar dan wil je zien. Yeah, it's a storm there. Yes. Okay, I'm going to stick to the pink prawn and sand prawn combination. So all I do is I take off the hot shell and I just squash it a little bit to get it nice and soft. Yeah, I still have a little piece left, so I'm just going to add this to it. Just around. Just a couple of turns. Just to shape it. And then we add our sand prawn to it. Simple bait, keep it simple, small. Not too tight, you want those prawns still to be wiggling underwater. Still move, create a little bit of attraction. There we go. There's our little bait. I think I'm just gonna take my lid from my bait box from my tackle box and just put it over my prawn. Because the seagull already tried to snatch that the stump nose out of the water. So I had to move it to another pool. So I just close it and keep the seagulls away from our, our bait. That's better. Yo, oh, that thing grabbed me. What is this? Yo. Oh. Second throw. <laughs> uh, 
Dat ding is proper. <laughs> I think it is stuck, damn it. Swim out, man. There we go, out. I get up, I know. Okay. I'm just gonna get myself a little bit higher so that I can see those reefs a little bit more clear and then just work my fish, plan the fight and the fish around it. It's a big zebra. Jeez! What a fish. Yo, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. What a beautiful fish, guys. Look at the zebra. Yo, it's massive. Really massive. Look at it. Yo. Really great. Well, this fish are really slow growing. And, um, yeah, this fish must be 30 plus years old, might even be closer to 40 years old. So, also gonna put this back in the pool there, see what species we accumulate, let them like a revive, and then we just throw them back. But look at that, stunning colors on it. Zebra, in Afrikaans it's called a, a wilde paard, also known as a wild horse. There we go, like a two throws, two fish, two species, going well. Yeah. Remember, this fish is almost my age or older than me, so you need to treat it with respect. And um, then it's circle look a little too uh, perfectly there in the corner. That's it, Boyki. Let's put you there with your buddy. And we'll safely return you a little bit later. But look at that stunning colors on the fish. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna stick to what's working. This little bait has been working well this morning. Two tries, two fish, two different species. So let's continue. Quite enjoying myself here. Well guys, you'll see right behind me, there's a section of blue water and then white rolling water. It's really important to get your bait in that white rolling water. That's where the fish are feeding. So that's why I'm walking right to the edge and I'm putting a long throw with my horizon medium as long as I can um, with the tackle that I'm using and making sure that I get in that zone and that's where I'm getting the bites. Until a scratching day be without a blacktail. It's a tiny one. But I'm uh, adding to the species list. Yeah. Off you guys. This one is over the legal size limit, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in the pool with the other fish because I saw some fish chasing mullets in the shore break, so it might be big shad or big elk. So maybe when I get snipped off, or I'm certain that it is big elk, I might cut up the blacktail and use it as bait to fish for it because I don't have any fish baits. 
but um, otherwise we're just gonna throw it back. But um, yeah, at least we have some bites, eh? Blacktails are starting to get a little bit of a pest at the moment but the tide is pushing so hopefully there will be some better fish kind that comes in but if these pesky things can just leave my baits alone I might have a chance of catching something better another blacktail Okay, let's see this battery. Oh, let's go and change the batteries. And then we continue to fish. The wind shifted a little bit, changed a little bit south. So south is not a really good wind to fish in, but it feels like it's switching to a south southeast at the moment. So if it's, hopefully, if it switch over to a southeast, we'll, we'll continue to get a little bit more bites. But that beautiful rolling water that I've been catching the fish in has been going away. Um, it's because the tide is starting to fall up, but um, no, it still looks okay, but I'm uh, going to give it a one, uh, one or two more throws and then maybe I'll move to another spot. Oh, just missed a good fish, I lost a good fish. Had it on for a second and the hook just came out, but um, oh, that lens is dirty. <laughs> okay, let's rebate and try it again. Damn it, Dad! Gonna give it a couple of more throws here and then move to another little beach there. Um, there's a little bit of scattered reef and scattered rock on the surf there. So hopefully there's a fish that hangs around there and hopefully we can create ourselves an opportunity to catch a better fish. It looks so really lucky here. Uh, um, you know, like I said, that rolling water is starting to disappear. But uh, oh, I think I'm going to give it a one or two more throws and then make a run for it. Yeah, oh, seagull, leave my stuff alive. Stupid things. holding some underwater footage for the, with the other GoPro with this one and um, no, the, the zebra went over and um, into this big pool so that's ideal that you um, can just go out so I think I'm gonna leave this stump nose here well, let me see if I can catch it That was easy. <laughs> Not always this easy. I'm just gonna release him in the same pool. Okay, just bra. Well, I still wanted to take one, one or two nice shots of that um, zebra and show it to you guys once more because it's really a beautiful fish and it's not often you catch them that big. Um, like I said, that fish must be really close. I guess the sun is bad, eh? Okay, that's better. Can you guys see my face? You know, it's my ugly face right here. But, um, no, that fish is like 40 years old. But uh, I didn't even measure it. I should have measured it. But it was a really big four. Four. A zebra, really beautiful fish. But, uh, I need to catch some fish, man. I need to catch some fish. 
Might even take a chance and throw for a cob later on. Hmm. Anyway, let's go. Catch some fish, boys. Yeah, I'm approaching the section where I want to fish, but it seems like it's quite sanded up. You can see one or two rocks in the water, but it's not ideal. But I'm still going to give it a go. Ideally, you want the rocks to be washed open. But, uh, no, we'll just see what happens and uh, make it work. Rolling really nice. A lot of working water, rolling water, and it doesn't look too bad at all. There's a little bank here, and I might come and fish for a, for a cobby a little bit later on. But if you're looking here, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm on a chest cam here, so I can't see what I'm filming. But there's a really nice section that's rolling, got a little bit of a gully, and a deeper section of water. Quite the fisher. Does not look bad at all. It's rolling perfectly, working perfectly. Only concern is that it's not washed open like it should be, but I can see some rocks boiling in the water, so it might be a fish that hang around here. Maybe catch a Bartman Cobby one stream. Anyway. You don't know if you don't throw, so let's go it. Let's go it. Put my camera here. Hopefully, we get to use you, bro. Film some fish. Haha. <laughs> It's fun. Alright. Wait. Bait box. Where's my bucket? I had two buckets. No man. Did I lose my other bucket? Hi boy. Need to go back. No oh, man. Need to go and fetch my bucket. I lost my other bucket. <laughs> Woo, thunder. Bucket going into the water. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> really nice piece of water right here there in front of me that's where i'm fishing and my tackle bag somewhere there and it doesn't look too bad i think we're gonna catch a fish I'm saying something. I don't know. I think I should move my stuff a little bit more to the left. With me running back to fetch my bucket. So a little bit of a better looking piece of water. Slightly back. Right about here. Right here. So, anyway, this is going to work this section. It's like a, he doesn't need a section of water. So just work it up and down. And then try and find the fish. First bucket of water, fill it up. Can't put bait on without my bucket of water. I need to have it right next to my box, otherwise I'm totally lost. There we go. There's a bucket of sand prawn. It's all got a good few left. Scissor and knife goes in here. Cotton. 
Amur. Get your guy. Just take off the boots. Throw. I think I'm going to give it a go with the brawn again. It's been working this morning. Start off with that. I'll keep this little piece here. I'm going to show you guys a little bit later what I do with it. Okay, that's our base of the bait. One time prawn, two time prawn, hopefully one time fish. Here we go, it's quick. All set and good to go. Okay, so I'm not washing. Only using a four ounce teardrop sinker. So if I'm not washing it means that there's a little bit of rocks in the water. So we're good. We're good. Okay, so I, I told you guys I'll show you what I'm going to do with this as I'm running out of thrown and then just to stretch it what I do is I take a small piece of squid just like this and then we'll check take our hammer and we're going to beat the squid a little bit first um, just a little bit and now I'm beating it on the on the skin side and then I'll just to soften it up and now I'll turn it around and then beat the inside of it and then we take this prawn shell and we beat that into the squid and um, that still gives you that prawn flavor and I'll even take a small piece of prawn like that and I'll beat it in as well just want this thing to be really soft it needs to be soft and mushy real mushy guys mushy 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 so there we go like a mushy then we take a small piece of prawn you can either add that onto your hook or you can beat the prawn into it this one i'm just going to beat the prawn into it lightly and there we go and then we just build the base exactly like you did with the prawn and um and like this you can stretch your prawn and um, it will last you longer throughout the day so i only had one small packet and i'm running out so just want to stretch it a little bit you need to keep your bait soft so i'm not giving it a lot of latex cotton just a little bit of cotton just to secure it and build my bait and then we're gonna go same story as per usual add two sand prawns to the side Sand prawn here, sand prawn there, and there we go, like a little scratching bait. Best of both worlds, you got your prawn, three worlds, you got your almost like a blob bait, some sand prawn, and pink prawn, and that looks pretty sexy. Very sexy. Okay, here we go. Let's catch some. Okay, there's the on finally. Guys, remember that little spot that I told you about when I walked back? Um, this is it. I was fishing right underneath my box um, with not a lot of bites and then I decided to walk back to that little spot that I saw on the way um, to fetch my bucket and uh, this was my first throw here and now uh, we have on feels like it's a better fish
not a big fish, but it's, it's a something. specimen just want to get this camera angle down here show it to you guys there you go a little white muscle cracker what is that species number oh you got a black tail zebra white stump nose no gamutine or <laughs> whatever and also it's five species now four species and oh, this little fella back Beautiful little thing, look at that. Let's get this week out here. Yeah. Look at that juvenile cracker. It's got the mean. He has that mean teeth already. Like his big uncles. And um, yeah, slow back. Beautiful little fish. They go into big angry fish. There we go. Just fella, go big. Finally a fish out. Yeah? Water looks very lucky. It might be a 10 kilo one. That'll be too awesome. But, uh, yeah, it's a little bit more foul in the water than I thought. Um, initially I didn't think it was that foul, but every time I get like stuck and yeah, I feel a lot of structure, which is a good thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna put on a new bait to make one more throw here. Well, not one more throw, but I'm gonna make a couple of more throws here. Because uh, it's been really quiet that side. First throw here, we got a fish. So, let's hope we can build some momentum and catch more fish. Ah, it's stump days. Black tail bonanza. Of course, it's a black tail. Okay, so let me just get this camera angle here. Clean the lens. Eh, it's okay. So yo guys, this is a this is me calling it today. Wanted to throw for a cob there on the right hand side, but it just, just doesn't look too that good now on the high tide. So I reckon I'm gonna finish up, clean my stuff and um, head off home. But um, it was a fun day nonetheless, it's just lucky to be out here again catch a couple of fish no big fish were caught today but that's fishing and um, well, that's the condition so you have to fish the conditions you can't target the fish you don't have the conditions for that specific species so let me just organize this so it's like I mentioned this morning is that you either wait for the conditions for the species that you want to target or you just go and fish the conditions that you have and um, apply them accordingly but yeah it, it, it was fun it was like a, I really enjoyed it and um, yeah soon I'm sure soon we'll catch a couple of decent fish our weather is at this stage a little bit messy it's a little bit it's, it's fluctuating a little bit too much then we have a strong west then some east and then a strong west again we need the weather patterns to settle a little bit and um, see it's a lot of it's a lot of swell it's very surgy and all sorts of things so it's not too lucky we, we, we need those that sea to settle weather patterns to settle and, um, and then we'll catch some fish going over from the winter fish into the summer fish so we need the weather patterns to stay to change accordingly but anyway yeah guys please go and check out the link down in the description um, 
just simple, easy, click on the link, add your email address in the little subscription tab, there's a little tab there, that's all that you need to do, you don't need to uh, create any passwords or anything, just add your email address in there and hit enter and you will receive an email once the shop is live, yes the sun is in my eyes, but yeah, then um, you guys will receive an email once the shop is live, so yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see some more fishing videos from Zulu Fishing, hit the subscribe button, turn in the notification bell so you be notified once I upload a new video. I upload every Wednesday at 6.30. Um, yeah, maybe this video, my timing is a little bit, maybe you'll see this video on a Thursday, but usually I upload on a Wednesday at 6.30. See you guys next week. Cheers.